The city is beginning a new pilot program as part of its continuing efforts to reduce homelessness in Durham. The program will be part of the Durham Continuum of Care's entry process that streamlines how people enter and move through the homeless system. All clients who come through the entry process will first be assessed for the Shelter Diversion Program. This program will use problem solving and limited flexible assistance to enable households experiencing homelessness to regain stable housing immediately without having to enter the shelter system. By implementing system-wide shelter diversion, the continuum of care is trying to reduce the flow of people into the homelessness and prioritize resources for those with the highest needs. $706,000 have been allocated for Volunteers of America of the Carolinas to implement the unit that will serve as the point of entry into Durham's homeless system. A federal grant will be helping to reduce lead-based paint hazards from homes throughout Durham. The city has been awarded a $3.2 million lead-based paint hazard reduction and Healthy Homes Program grant from HUD. The funding is needed to help remediate and get rid of lead in many of Durham's homes and rental units in order to provide decent and safe housing for residents. According to the EPA, lead can affect children's brains and developing nervous systems, causing reduced IQ, learning disabilities, and behavioral problems. It can also be harmful to adults. Lead-based paint was used in more than 38 million homes until it was banned for residential use in 1978. The grant funds will be used to provide lead safety in homes with children under six years of age, provide cost-effective methods to remove lead hazards from housing, and create opportunities for employment through lead training. A work of public art will soon be installed in the Black Wall Street Gardens. The gardens are publicly owned and located on West Main Street in downtown. The art will commemorate and spotlight the importance of Black Wall Street and the legacy of Durham's African-American business community. The city will pay artists Stephen Hayes and David Wilson to create the work. They will also hire an apprentice artist to further develop the city's local talent. The art installation will occur in September in line with the Black Wall Street Homecoming. The Homecoming is an annual Emerging Entrepreneurs Networking Conference. Celebrations around the installation will also dovetail with Durham's 150th celebration. For more information about Black Wall Street, visit discoverdurham.com. If you're interested in learning about how the police department operates and the services it provides, you're invited to take part in the free Citizen Police Academy. This year's session will take place August 20th through October 1st. The classes will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Durham Police Headquarters. The goal of the Academy is to increase awareness of how the police department operates and to strengthen the relationship between the police and the community. It offers state-of-the-art simulation scenarios, hands-on examination of police gear and equipment, and police Police ride alongs. There will also be various sessions on the department's administrative, investigative, uniform patrol, and community services operations. Applicants must pass a background check to be able to participate, and class size is limited. For more information or to register, visit DurhamPolice.com. On the left side of the page, click Online Forms, then Citizen Police Academy. If you have a neighborhood project that you want to get underway, applications are now being accepted for the city's Neighborhood Matching Grants program. Through a competitive process, the program awards matching funds to neighborhood-based organizations to help make Durham's neighborhoods better places to live, work, and play. Each applicant may request up to $2,500 in matching funds. Projects can include physical improvements, programming, events, or other creative ways that neighborhoods can be improved. Some examples of previous projects include neighborhood gardens, walking trails, educational programs, neighborhood cleanups, walking clubs, and community events. The next deadline for applications is July 31st. For more information or to apply, you'll need to complete a short interest form, which can be found at DurhamCommunityEngagement.org.